out is your type of weekend entertainment. You want, might want to check out a Detroit landmark restaurant. Yeah, Sinbad's is one of the Detroit's oldest waterfront restaurants. You've probably seen it. You may have pulled up to it and gotten off of your boat with mm -hmm. just a pair of boat shoes on the shorts, right? This is a restaurant that has been serving great meals along the Detroit Riverfront for 67 years. Yes, our Michelle Oliver is taking us there to dine in the D and see what's behind their success. Since 1949, Sinbad's has called the Detroit Riverfront home. They say my dad and my uncle were drinking martinis in Manhattan when they first opened the place, and it really didn't have a name. The movie Sinbad the Sailor came out in 1947, and they thought, why not name it after one of the most famous sailors in the world? It was uh, just a small little restaurant, maybe about 75 to 80 seats, with about 18 seats at the bar. But over the years, the Blanky family expanded it, room by room. First they put an outdoor patio towards the river, then they covered it, then they added an east room, which they called the new room for many years, and finally I said, gang, maybe it's time we call it the east room. <laughs> and so we're, you know, we're in the neighborhood of around a 400 seat restaurant. And the reason they were able to expand was because they gave the customers what they wanted. Our menu was really built by our customers, because they would say, oh, Buster, why don't you put this on the menu? Or Van, we would like to see this. And little by little, they added things. They added pickerel, which really is walleye, but we still call it pickerel on the menu because we've been here so long. Much like the name pickerel, one thing that hasn't changed over the years is the warm and friendly staff. I have people that have been here 50 years, Cookie. I have Denise. I have Marianne. I have the best help. But let's get back to the food. Nowadays, they're known for their seafood. Their clam chowder has always been a staple here, but they also get fresh seafood flown in and do a nightly special. Today, we're making scallops. They are unsoaked scallops, and these scallops are excellent. They are to die for. Once you put a nice sear on them, they are melting in your mouth like candy. We start off by heating up a pan with some olive oil. Place the scallops down, that's what you want to hear, that nice sear. All right, so you said these are unsoaked scallops. Are yes. there soaked scallops? Yeah, you have soaked scallops where a lot of people will soak them in salt water just to get the weight on them. And mm -hmm. you'll know if they soaked in salt water because they wouldn't get a nice caramelization like we get them here. Once they get that signature golden brown, it's time to deglaze with a house-made warm ginger vinaigrette. And the ginger vinaigrette consists of a little zest of orange, orange juice, a little lemon, fresh ginger, fresh garlic, a little red onions, a little mint, and a little Dijon, and I also have a nice lobster base that I use. What I do normally with that is I whip down a little spinach and, and Swiss char, which you're gonna help me with. You're gonna assist yeah. me with it. Okay, we'll, we'll start off <laughs> with a little olive oil here. And some onions and fresh garlic. Then we toss in a handful of char, spinach, and sprinkle in some salt and pepper. Now we're ready to plate. You know, we just keep being a friendly place to be, and we serve great food and a good quantity, and we just try to treat people special and, and the friends that they are. 